uh, welcome viewers so in this video lecture we want to see that how to solve any question uh, when the roots are complex roots okay so consider consider this recurrence relation an plus 2 plus an plus 1 plus an equal to 0 okay now what is its order order here is n plus 2 minus n okay so what it is it is 2 okay therefore its characteristic its characteristic equation it is alpha square plus alpha plus 1 equal to 0 okay now you see that that it is not possible to factorize this uh, equation so what we do we apply here discriminant formula okay so what is that alpha equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac upon 2a so what is the value of b it is minus 1 plus minus under root b value is 1 okay minus 4 a value is 1 and the c value is 1 okay a value you get from the coefficient of alpha square okay and b value you get from the coefficient of alpha and c value is the constant okay now substitute all these values in this formula so it is divided by 2a a value is 1 so what is the answer minus 1 plus minus under root 1 minus 4 upon 2 so it is equal to minus 1 plus minus minus 3 by 2 okay so it is minus 1 plus minus iota under root 3 by 2 okay so here you see that that we have two complex roots one is minus 1 plus iota under root 3 by 2 and other one is minus 1 minus iota under root 3 by 2 okay now as the roots are complex so uh, these roots can be further expressed as minus 1 by 2 plus iota un under root 3 by 2 okay and minus 1 by 2 minus iota under root 3 by 2 okay so now in order to uh, write the solution for the complex root okay what you do out of these two roots you select that root where the middle sign is positive so you see that that here uh, here the middle sign it is positive okay so according to this root we uh, select uh, x value and y value okay so what is the x value because you know that that uh, any complex number that is expressed like this x plus iota y so what is the x value x value here is uh, minus half and the y value here is under root 3 by 2 okay so as x is negative and y is positive x mean cause okay and y mean sign okay so it means that cause is negative and uh, here y as sign is positive so it means that this theta it lies in the second quadrant okay and you were told that how to find the formula in the second quadrant it is pi minus tangent inverse mod y by x okay so this is the formula for finding the angle theta now uh, and for r use this formula under root x square plus y square okay so it is under root x value is minus 1 by 2 square y value is under root 3 by 2 square so what is it it is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 okay so it is 4 by 4 4 by 4 mean that it is square root 1 square root 1 mean 1 okay now theta theta is equal to pi minus tangent inverse mod y by x so it is pi minus tangent inverse mod y what is the y value y value is under root 3 by 2 okay and what is the x value x value is minus 1 by 2 okay 
So 2 to cancel. So it is a pi minus tangent inverse mod under root 3. Okay. Uh, so due to this modulus sign, uh, it becomes positive. So tangent inverse under root 3. So what is the value of a tangent inverse under root 3? It is pi by 3. Pi by 3. So this is uh, equal to 3 pi minus pi by 3. So the answer is 2 pi by 3. Okay. So we have now the value of R and we now have the value of theta. So after uh, this, we write the solution. Okay. So a n it is equal to R is the power n C1 cos cos n theta plus C2 sine n theta. Okay. So what is R value? R value is 1. So it is 1 raised to the power n. C1 cos cos n. Uh, write n as such theta value. It is 2 pi by 3 plus C2 sine sine and it is 2 pi by 3. Okay. So what is the final answer? It is C1 cos 2n pi by 3 plus c2 sine 2n pi by 3. Okay. So in this way we solve the uh, questions okay uh, when we get complex roots. Okay. So we will solve one more question in the next video lecture. Thank you very much students for watching this video.